What's up, Taurus? Welcome to your 2019 Terrascope Tarot Reading Tarot Vibe. This is Waterstar Vibes. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you for all of your likes, subscribes, shares, comments. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Now, we are going to go ahead and we are going to get into this reading because, as you know, we stepping into a new year, brand new energy. The whole vibration of the planet has raised just in case you didn't know. Now you're in on that secret. So manifestation powers are quadrupling, you know, and it's time for you, Taurus, to step into that brand new energy. So we're going to be looking into the energy of what you can expect and how you can capitalize on this brand new fifth dimensional reality that we're living in now. So you already know how this goes. Taurus, go with me on a mind trip. So you are running. You're running and you're scared. You turn around and you look behind you and it's this huge person following you. They're running behind you. They're like seven feet tall and they're stomping behind you so loud that you hear the echo of their footsteps for, for seconds after they've already stomped. And they're just running after you and you're running after it. And they're telling you that I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to take you over. I'm going to get you. And you just believe it and you hear it and you're so scared. And you run and you run and finally you get tired. You get so tired to the point where you're like, all right, I have to make a choice. Either I could turn around and take my chances and try to fight this thing, or I could just drop right here and let it take me. So you're a Taurus. you like, forget it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to take my chances. So you turn around, you ball up your fist as tight as you can, and you punch it right in the chest. And to your surprise, bloop, 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 bloop. This huge thing falls down into all these little small boxes and you're looking at the small boxes they just flapping on the floor it's about 20 of them you're looking at them like these little small boxes was what was chasing me so you start stomping them one by one stomping them stomping them stomping them out stomping them out stomping them out and the whole thing is gone you're no longer chased by it Taurus what does this mean for you well, in 2019, what you're going to learn and discover is a lot of things that you do in life, you create and manifest small monsters in your life by doing this. See, those small boxes represent problems, illusions, fears, okay, all of these different things. Oh, I have to pay my bills. Oh, I have to stay on top of this. Oh, the kids, all oh, the this, all oh, the that. And you stack it so big that it manifests into the problem monster. And the problem monster goes chasing you around when really it's not even a reality. It's small things individualized one by one, broken down and to the point where you can stump them out individually. Some people make you know how to say mountains out of mole hills. It's kind of like some people make people and actual entities in their mind of all of their problems. The man is coming to get me. The internet, like the internet is one big person standing there ready to take you down. Like you're going to learn in 2019 how to minimize your problems and stomp them out one by one. Okay, things are going to be way less scary way less uh things to panic about things that used to trouble you it's like they're gonna seem very small okay some of y'all gonna get the courage to turn around and face these seemingly so big problems you're gonna turn around and face the problem monster and punch him right in the chest and you're gonna discover that it's nothing more than just a collection of fears, illusions, bills, all of your little issues stacked up and given life. It's like you breathe life into that monster of problems and, you know, insecurities and, and illusions. So in 2019, Taurus, get ready to punch it in the chest. You feel what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and let's get to this reading. We are going to jump into your 2019 year and see what it is that you have to get rid of. See what it is that you are going to look forward to. What's going to help you 
face this problem monster and punch it down. I'm really just seeing it like this too. I'm gonna just break this down. Like a lot of you guys, um, it's like the things are bigger than they seem. Like, and I keep getting the image of like the internet. Like some of you guys really want to do some stuff where you really branch out and put yourself out there and put all the, whatever it is that you want to do out there, but you're so afraid of the internet. Okay. But when you break it down, it's like, these are individual people all sitting at home behind their computers, you know, evaluating, judging, giving you props, whatever the case may be. But it's not one big person. You know, it's not a huge convention center where all these people are together looking at a jumbotron and you and everybody's get mixing and mingling, talking about you. It's not like that. You know, um, when it when you're doing your thing, you know, I'm not talking about your little friends and your little frenemies around you, but I'm talking about as it pertains to you moving all of that out the way and jumping out there doing your thing. It's not as big or as scary as it may seem, you know. So let's go ahead and let's jump into this reading i hope you guys found that mind trip insightful and i hope that you can use that to um propel yourself to take courage move forward with what you want to do whoa i just said move forward first card move now i know sometimes you guys say you want to see the cards and all of that and i am taking that into consideration one of the subscribers had a good idea if i get two cameras and you know i, I have one where you can see the cards and all that but for the meantime bear with me okay so move okay this is like the chariot in traditional tarot this is all about movement forward movement okay i'm telling you once you let go of all of the illusions the fears the big problem monster once you punch him in the chest it's time for you to take action okay like i said the action step is you stomping okay you're gonna be stomping these things out and it's gonna help you to move forward it's definitely gonna help you to remove blockages for some of you guys this is actually moving you're having trouble in your mind trying to figure out okay i want to move but i can't figure this out i can't figure that out i can't determine this and that it's like a huge problem but in actuality it's just small little steps that you have to individualize okay bring them down to size and then move forward take the action of stomping it out okay a lot of y'all gonna be doing that this year it's gonna be so much forward movement y'all y'all not gonna even recognize yourself january 2020 okay sacral chakra 2019 y'all gonna have to get in tune with y'all chakras this is the second the second chakra that you have okay some of y'all need to focus on wearing the color orange because the color orange is going to give you like that vitality it's going to make you feel good about yourself it's going to make you focus and concentrate on getting that sick room chakra to spin um this is the second one it's right below your navel so um some of you guys need to do meditations where you focus on like a yellow you i mean i'm sorry an orange um um, like light ball of light and just imagine it like glowing and expanding inside of you okay um this is where a lot of your uh deep rooted issues are stored okay but also a lot of your deep rooted dreams so you need to move forward with your dreams but at the same time you need to do it from a place like you know how can my heart be like say it from your chest okay well pull it from your sacral chakra you know what i mean something like that all right oh coming together speaking of now this is all about like relationships emotions being good um but this is uh speaking to some type of romance as well so some of you guys could be meeting someone who you really really like adore i'm just getting the word adore okay it's just like huh falling in love type thing you know um for some of you guys this may be a thing where someone hooks you up and you start talking over the phone first and then you meet in person and it works out person may not be what you expect but that's okay because the phone conversations is what will get you or draw you in if that's been happening lately roll with that okay um but yeah this is going to be a really romantic year okay i feel like with the confidence boost with being able to individualize problems with getting rid of fears and illusions a lot of people are really going to step into that new energy of just being really like I'm sexy, I'm good, I'm a Taurus, what's up, you know, and that's really going to be attractive, okay? Now, wow, strengthening bonds. So some of you guys will actually just be strengthening the relationships that you already have, but this is, again, some of you have already met this person that you feel like, you know what, this is, this is Bay right here. And so, you know, when you uh, realize that this is your person, you guys are going to be coming together more, um sexually i don't know i'm picking that up a lot of people are going to be more having more sex in 2019 
not. I don't know who that's for. But okay. Um, but also this move card to me. It's like two hands holding together. Some of you guys are going to be moving in together. Alright, so that is like the overall like type energy that we're moving into. A lot of you guys, like I said, will be definitely learning how to stomp things out. Issues, problems, um, people. I'm just getting the minimization for you, Taurus. Please focus. Focus on the minimization of anything in your mind it is not that big okay now whoa see at the center of the reading we had the battered warrior syndrome this is someone who's been through it this is someone who has had to fight the fight this is someone who's kind of tired you know but someone who is also kind of like licking their wounds too Taurus someone who's like oh my god the problem was this is someone who's sitting here like I've been running and the problem must have been chasing me for a long time and I'm ready to just give up. I'm ready to just surrender. Some of you all are just like really trying to protect nothing too is what I'm getting. Like if you're fighting through a divorce or something, some of y'all fighting to protect nothing. It's more of a pride and ego thing than anything. And I would suggest just let it go. Um, all right. Next we have, whoa, the fool in reverse. So Taurus is kind of like, you're not taking a leap of faith. You're, you're not taking a chance. This is someone who's not turning around, punching the problem monster in the chest. Okay, this is someone who's looking at wounds. Someone who's like, oh, all my life I had to fight. And you're tired and you don't want to keep um, running. And you're ready to just, just let the problem monster take you over. This is someone who's not taking a leap of faith. The opportunity to take the leap of faith is there, though. That's why it's showing up. Okay, you have the opportunity to turn around and punch whatever it is in the face that's bothering you. Okay, I feel like a lot of y'all got this bothering energy. Okay, some of you guys could be um, giving up or feeling like giving up on an Aries Leo Sagittarius. All right. Huh. Or you could feel defeated from the fact that something is over. You don't want to move on from it or you don't want to accept the fact that it's over. You don't want to turn around and look at it. And see it for what it is. But it's just. It is what it is. Okay. The temperance in reverse. At the deep root of it. So somebody's not being balanced. Somebody is not finding the silver lining. Okay. This new year is going to be about learning to balance and find the silver lining. Sure. This may be a problem. But it's something that I can handle. There is a solution for everything. You're going to really figure that out this year, okay? So, learn to learn to balance that out. You got two major arcanas on the board already. All you got to do is take the opportunities, okay? Take the opportunities that show up. Now, oof. See? In the in the recent past, we got the 10 of swords, the 10 of swords and in those relationships. Oof. It hurts, don't it? Yes, I know. This is Aquarius Libra Gemini energy, by the way. Some of y'all have really left these relationships. 2019 is all about being done, like really enforcing, okay? Because I feel like 2018 was all about that juggle, that in and out, that wib that wobbly. Like, I'm trying to figure it out. Do I, Are you in my life for real? Is this really happening? Like, you leaving my life for real, for real? Like, you're going through that. And it's like, or you were going through that. And now it's like, okay, we getting ready to hit that threshold. We getting ready to cross on over. And yeah, it's for real. These are done. Now in your headspace, work. Let's get it. It's time to build. Okay, a lot of y'all got these ideas. A lot of y'all got these action steps, these plans. Y'all good at planning. A lot of y'all, I mean, y'all, this is your energy right here. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But this is like um, you working, okay? A lot of y'all going to put the pedal to the metal and you're going to focus. A lot of y'all going to really, I'm going to be real, a lot of y'all going to shift your focus. And it's not going to be about relationships this year. It's not going to be about cuddling and spooning and kissing and hugging. I mean, really? I mean, unless it come up, it might come up. But right now, I feel like your head is all about let's build this empire. Let's work. Let's see what we can build. Let's see since since this these relationships wasn't working out. Let's see what else I can do. What other realm can I succeed in? Near future, Queen of Cups in reverse. So some of you guys are going to be turning away a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or someone with this energy. Someone is not going to be accepting like the love of someone. Could be this energy here. So it seems like someone's going to come back. Seems like you're going to have someone come back from the past. And the way this energy is set up, 
it's like no i'm licking my wounds you hurt me too bad ain't gonna be no brand new beginnings i'm done some of y'all are done done and it's coming up twice with this ten of swords and this queen of cups in reverse and your mind being on money some of y'all like forget relationships it's about the money now. I'm going to see. I'm going to look out for me. A lot of y'all going to look out for you. Okay. Now, um, what you fear? Eight of Cups. Walking away. Okay. You fear this, you know, Queen of Cups right here. You feel like walking away from something like this is going to hurt. And it probably does. But at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you because 2019 is all about like we say, headspace is on that work. Now, this is for some of y'all. Some of y'all in a fulfilling relationship, okay. But your mind is about money as well. So what can you do? What you gonna be contributing to the home? How y'all gonna build? How y'all gonna rise up, move to that next level? That's where your head is at. But for the other ones, y'all are like, you fear and walking away, but you know that's what's best for you and that's what's coming. Like, it's, it's done, okay. Now, how others see you? Whoa, the magician. So people see you manifesting, okay? They see that you do have this opportunity here. A lot of you guys do have an opportunity. Everybody's moving into this entrepreneurial space. Everyone's moving into, I told you, that, that fifth dimensional world where you can manifest, where you can bring, where you can have whatever it is. People want to see. It's going to be amazing. The people you would never expect to pop off are going to pop off. Is that you? Okay? So you got to determine, like, yo, I got the power, and people see that. People can see that you have that power to manifest, okay? If you're watching this video, it's like you aligned here. You're not watching this video by mistake. So understand your power. Understand how others see you this year. Like you have the power to manifest and bring into fruition what it is that you say you're going to do. And the big part of it, hear me, is the fact that you walk away from these relationships. No more bad vibes that that alone will help you manifest all right what you hope for who the tower in reverse okay so a lot of you guys are looking to just like um not have any more moments where things are just you know going crazy and being hectic this year you're really going to learn like i said how to stomp out those problems see this is the problem monster the tower okay but this is you knocking that tower down this is you letting it all go not having any more problems out of this problem monster punching them in the chest minimizing the problems stomping them out we're eliminating all of that mess okay because you're going to realize a lot of your fears and stuff were projected on you by other people and you're going to start to know that you hold the power like this magician and you're going to realize that you can stump out all of these little issues and you can rebuild. You, you don't have to have these tower moments. Um, I forget. I think it's Virgo. Y'all need to go watch that mind trip about the other people that make you explode or that cause these explosions. You know, you're going to knock out a lot of problems just by eliminating or have gotten rid of a lot of these people. Now, final outcome. Wow. Queen of Cups, goodbye. Brand new beginning and emotional fulfillment. This is the Ace of Cups. So it's like you guys are going to have a brand new beginning and emotional fulfillment. It's the start over, okay? You get to start over. You're not showing any love or receptivity to this person here. It's kind of like it's over, over, okay? And that's not, you don't want a brand new beginning. No more tower moments. No more of this back and forth. Let's just be done. Okay, just goodbye. Okay, this could be friends. This could be a job. This could be broke, lonely. This could be goodbye problem monster. Like, no more. Like, you're not as big and bad as you thought. Goodbye. So, you're going to have a brand new beginning. All 2019 is all about emotional fulfillment. Now, some of you guys are going to get this through that work. Through doing and focusing on just getting that coin and stacking that bread and building that empire. That opportunity is there. But what you got to do, got to step out of this batter warrior syndrome. Like, you know, licking, licking your wounds. Like, the problem must have been chasing me for so long. And I'm so tired. I just want them to just take me over. Just take me out. Forget it. Just, just put me out of my misery. When you got a whole opportunity right here to just let it all 
go turn around punch the problem monster in the face and that's a huge beginning if you could put that visual in your head and really understand that break it down break these things down they are not as big as they seem and you're gonna learn that 2019 you are in for a major emotional fulfilling surprise time okay so overall energy wow the world card in reverse okay so some of you guys are not quite done with this cycle 2019 you are going to be closing out the end of a lot of chapters wrapping up the last of karma wrapping up the last of these uh tests and, and trials you're going to turn around this is you punch the problem monster now 2019 you're going to get the last of the stomping out and like i said by 2020 you won't even know who you are you won't even realize. You you will have to look at pictures. Some of y'all might want to keep a journal. Because you're not going to even remember how crazy or hectic it was. Like you're going to be like, man, I remember just a year ago I was doing this and I was doing that. And now here it is. Look at me. You know, it's going to be a complete flip around. Okay. You're almost there, Taurus. Hang in there. All right. That's what I got for you. 2019. Turn up, baby. Take advantage of this new crystalline world that we live in. Shh. We're in the 5D. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Let's go. 2019, baby. Get excited. Taurus, I will see you for your Januaries.